So no, I'm, I'm running for a state representative here in Cambridge and Somerville, and I'm doing it without accepting any financial contributions. And, you know, first of all, I'm doing it because I think there's lots of room for improvement on Beacon Hill and in state level government. But I also have a, a wider purpose because I'd like to set an example that says financial influence shouldn't translate into political influence. Absolutely. That's uh, to the extent that you have a functioning democracy, uh, the number of dollars you have should have absolutely nothing to do with uh, your influence on political decisions. I mean, otherwise, it just amounts to buying elections, which we're very close to. Actually, I should say there's nothing new about this. So you go back uh, a century, uh, one of the great political managers, famous political managers, was Mark Hanna. And he was asked once, uh, what's important for a political campaign? He said, well, three things. He said, the first thing is money. The second thing is money. And the third thing, I've forgotten what that is. <laughs> that was a century ago. And since then, it's gotten incomparably worse. I mean, you can pretty well, there's pretty good political science work on this. A lot of the best work's done by a professor at UMass Boston, Tom Ferguson. And what he's shown very convincingly, I think, is you can pretty well predict who's going to win an election just by looking at campaign contributions. But more interestingly, you can pick you can pretty well determine the policies they're going to follow right. by looking at the concentration of campaign contributions. And that tells you, to the extent that that's true, that means that democracy is just a farce. It means it's as if uh, the number of votes is the number of your dollars. Uh, right. We can tell what comes out of that, and we're approaching that. It's gotten worse in the last couple of years, partly Supreme Court decisions, partly just the concentration of wealth in the economy, and with it the corruption, well, you know, the, I don't know if you want to even call it corruption, the drift of the parties towards becoming, you know, burrowing deep into the pockets of those who have money, so corporate pockets. Republicans reflexively, the Democrats not all that far behind, and it leaves the people out. You know. Absolutely. And, you know, what, what I'm hoping to do is that if this campaign succeeds, then others will see this example and we can, from the ground up, sort of set a new example that says, you know, where people can, are actually empowered to say, I don't want to be represented by someone who's a part of this big money that's system. Good. I think a lot of people, probably a large majority of people, would agree that that's what they want. And if they see that it's possible, like we don't have to just have to give up, we can actually do something, could take off. That's the way things start. I mean, take, say, the civil rights movement. You know, it has a long history, but uh, the modern civil rights movement really took off in 1960 when a couple of young kids from a black college sat in at a lunch counter. And of course they were arrested and brutalized and could have been the end of it, but instead a couple more kids came in, pretty soon you had Freedom Riders uh, registration, pretty soon you had Mass March in Washington, a lot of games, not everything, but a lot of games. Uh, women's movement was exactly the same. It began with uh, women talking to each other in small uh, consciousness-raising groups. Uh, before too long, it had the, you know, the biggest change in the country, in fact, the world of the modern period. Thank you so much, Noam. Yes, thank you so much. Should Noam be yeah, in the middle? I'll, I'll, do, I'll do one no, of this is fine. You I'll do that. one of the three of you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, Mike, Mike, Mike can be sitting down. Move off to the right. Let's you take it. Can just move a Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Great. <laughs> Hold on. Give, give me just 20 seconds like that. Thank you so much. No. <laughs> and double congratulations on being elected and getting married. No.